All right, so now let's talk about and let me show you how to create your own website within the Clean Biz Network dashboard. All right, so right inside our CRM. So you know I'm gonna take myself off the screen so I can focus and so you can see. All right, so first thing you wanna do, you see with the dashboard right now, all you wanna do is you wanna go into websites. So go to sites right here on this left side right here. And then next, right now, as you can see, let me get this out of the way. So as you can see, I'm on funnels. If you're on the basic membership, then you probably won't see funnels. So, all right, so just ignore that. You should be already be on the websites tab instead. All right, so in the websites tab, you can see we have some, well, not all, some of these are, some I added, but you probably have this one here and this one, all right? So all we wanna do, actually, I remember I used this one as a tutorial earlier before, but anyway, uh, you wanna just click on one of these templates. So if you're a residential cleaning company, then you probably wanna use this template. If you're a commercial cleaning company, then use this template to start with. But we already preloaded some templates in there for you guys to use to give you a head start. So just click on it. All right, and you can see, what you see here is different pages of your website. So every time, so I'll go to a, let's go ahead and just open this website right here. So in order to preview your website, you click this button right here. And you can see it opens up in a whole different tab. And so, as I was showing you on the previous page, these are different pages within your website. So if we go to the website right now, it's going to have different pages. So right here, in that menu option, that's a page. This menu option, that's a page. All right. The team, if you go back here, you can see there was a team page, right? So that's what's showing up on that. If you click contact, that's what's going to show up on your contact page right here. All right. So if you wanted to edit the main page, let's just go back to the home page, which they're all the same for the most part. But if you wanted to edit this page, then all you got to do is open it up in the editor. All right. So I'm going to click edit. So we're gonna edit it in this same page here. And then I'll keep it the other preview tab open so we can kind of preview as we go along. All right, so now as you can see, this thing is really, really like intuitive. So if you click here, this right here is gonna edit anything in this header uh, navigation menu, all right? So you can rename it the sections if you want. So you can just put header if you want to. So put header navigation menu and by the way this navigation menu is going to show up on all your pages so if you edit this menu here then it's going to also edit on one of your, your other pages all right all right so let's just say you want to scroll down and you're like okay well i want to add a sub menu under the about or under the team or maybe you want to change it all together maybe you don't want to talk about the team maybe you want to talk about uh services all right so maybe you want to provide the services that you provide and then it'll go to the page and then it'll go to the services page or the team page, but I'm gonna change it soon. Now this right here is if you want, when they click on that menu item to open it in a new tab or within the same website tab. Since we're keeping this within the same website, I will keep it as open in the same tab. Don't open a new tab. Now if you were sending them to like a YouTube channel, then you will wanna definitely put it uh, as a new tab. So if you send them in any way outside of your native website, then open it in a new tab. But if you're keeping it in this within this uh, website here, then just keep it right there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click submit there, and that's done. And now let's just say you wanted to keep Teams, but you wanted to add it in a different place. So let's go ahead and create a new menu and put Team. All right, and we'll go to a page. So you can go to a custom website, just like I told you. You could go link it to YouTube or Facebook or somewhere else, or you can just link it to a page within your uh, website that you were building. All right. So I'm gonna say we're gonna link this to the team page as well. And then I'll fix that later to make them go to separate places, all right? We're gonna keep it within and click Submit. And then in order to make that uh, under the About section, I'll just drag it up and slide it in. All right, so now when we hover over that, you can see the team part pops down. And then if you wanna add another one under that, you can just do the same thing and say, uh, let's say they got About Us. Actually, you know what we'll do? Let's just say we want the contact under About as well. So maybe we'll drag that under there, like that. All right, so now when you have over about, you can hit team and you can get contact, all right? And then this new menu item here, I'm just gonna delete it. And there you go. All right, so now we got home, we got about, and we got services. All right, and now what we can do is we can come here and let's just say, oh, better yet, let's go ahead and stay here. Maybe you need to change your logo. 
right? Because that's our logo there now, but you want to change your logo. So if you don't have a logo yet, then you want to just delete that information, all right? Or you can upload your logo. If you don't have a logo, you can create one using Canva.com. Just like I showed you how to use Canva to create a flyer, you can also use Canva to create a logo. That's exactly where I created the Clean Business Network logo, all right? But if you don't have a logo already, I mean, if you already have a logo already, you can upload it. Whether it's, so this right here is your library. So anything you ever upload inside of the Clean Biz CRM will be saved in this media uh, section here. But if you don't see it here, then you can always upload the file directly from your computer by clicking that blue button over there. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this back again just to put it there. Uh, then what else we got? If you want the logo in the menu, you can uh, select that or you can take it out. Now I'm trying to see where there it is right there. So if you don't have a logo, then just select that and it'll go away and it'll only have the words. So we'll just put the name of your company here and maybe you put Joe's, I should keep it all capital, Joe's Cleaning Services, all right? And there you go. Maybe you don't have a logo, but you just keep the name for now, all right? Next thing you want to do is you can literally edit this stuff, all right? Maybe you want to move this down instead of up, all right? Maybe you want to move this up and then up again. So all of this the stuff can be edited, all right? So I'm gonna go back and put that right back how it was. And actually there is an undo button, so we'll just click undo, undo, until we get it to right where we want it, all right? Uh, this right here is a blank element, so nothing is there. So if you want, you can delete that, all right? And now you see how this went wider because we got rid of that. Now, if you wanna view how that will look on the phone, then you just click this section here, all right? So now, you can see that that part is there and I'm going to actually go back and I'm going to click undo just to see how that affected the phone view. So you can see in the desktop view, it, when I had this there, let's go to redo again. So in the desktop view, we just made this wider once we got it right to that section. So that section was there probably to maybe add another picture or you can add a booking form or whatever the case may be, right? Uh, or you can undo it. I'm going to redo it again, right? And now we go back to the phone view. And let's just redo it and undo it one more time. So you can see it added a section under instead of uh, beside it in the phone view. And then we got rid of it again and took rid of, got rid of it. All right. This right here, if you want, you can probably center this. So let's see if we can find it and center it. There you go. And then maybe it's like, you know what, we want to center all of this. So click on each section, find the center right there. Click on that one, center that. Click on that one, center that. All right, let's see how it looks on the website view. Everything still looks pretty pretty decent. All right, now you do have a lot of space in here, so we're going to see if we can find out how to remove that space. All right, so if you go to padding at the bottom, you can see you get rid of that, that space right there. Same thing with the top part. Get rid of the top uh, padding space. Let's see how it looks on the phone view. It still looks good on the phone view. I can actually take out a little more padding on the phone view. All right. And there you go. Now, as you're doing any type of changes, I highly recommend just click and save as you go. All right. Now, you might notice that when I did click and save, it's saying warning, change the default SEO page title and subscription. So this is very important because this is going to help you to get uh, SEO traffic. In other words, the SEO stands for search engine optimization. So what that basically means is it increases your chances of being found when somebody searches for your business on Google or whatever other search engine out there, all right? So what you definitely want to do is put the name of your company. So we'll put Joe's Cleaning Services there. All right, maybe you can put an LLC if you're LLC, whatever the case may be. And then in the description, you want to do things like use keywords, okay? So what are keywords? Keywords are basically very important words that's going to help people find your business for the service that they're looking for. So for example, we'll say, uh, the best because somebody might search best office cleaning or best dental office cleaning or best house cleaning service or housekeeping service or so whatever service that you provide and actually I won't do uh, capital letters on every word so the best office cleaning company or oh, we'll put service maybe in uh, whatever area you are in. So let's just say you're in Hampton, Virginia. Put that. All right, and then add some more keywords. Joe's Cleaning Services. 
LLC specializes in office cleaning and then maybe you say something else church cleaning whatever other type of cleaning you uh, provide right home cleaning in the and then I'll put another keyword which will be 757 area code right if that's what the metropolitan uh, area code is right or you can put the zip code or you can put another like maybe your your uh, your locality has a nickname nickname like for example my I live in Jacksonville Florida so I might put Jax or I might put Duval right something like that but just find a way to make the keyword stand out then you can add more keywords here so we might do uh, office cleaning if that's what you do um, car let's see we'll say cleaning service uh, Hampton Virginia or cleaning companies Hampton Hampton cleaning service all right and notice what I'm not putting I'm not putting commercial cleaning you know why because customers typically don't say commercial cleaning they will say office cleaning or building cleaning or building service or something along that line they might even say janitorial service so they might that'll be another one uh, so Hampton janitorial service and then that's another thing too you notice I'm putting services right here I am and I put it here as well because typically when customers search, they're going to put an S at the end because they want a, 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 an option, right? They want options to choose from. So make sure you probably going to want, want to put things in, in plural tense because that's probably how your customers are searching it, all right? The author is Joe's Cleaning Service. And then you definitely want to put your logo here as well. So that way if somebody, um, you know, if it pops up for whatever reason, uh, and somebody shares your link you want that preview uh, picture to show up so I'll just put a generic picture there just for this practice website but definitely put your real um, picture there and this is also important too for SEO all right so this is just meta tag so that's more, one more way to add keywords to the pictures all right but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ignore that for now and so if somebody shared your link right now you can see the pictures right here that we just added here's a description there's the title and so it comes out real nice so you can click update metadata now notice after we save that data I mean excuse me after we finish typing in that data now you can look at the save button and it has a little blue dot reminding you to save so make sure you save and again as you go along making changes just make sure you continue to save everything all right uh, you can click this button to preview the site as you're building it, but I already have a tab open where we have it open, so just going to click refresh to see what we have so far at the saving, and you notice that the menu items did change. Alright, and we're just going to keep adding in the way. So as you want, if you want, you can keep coming down and just changing things down here. Maybe you want to get rid of, you know, one of these blocks, so maybe you're not eco-friendly, right? So get rid of that. Alright, and now you see how that automatically stretched that out for you. All right and then keep it coming down maybe you want to change this picture here select it come on down open up the uh, the file selector here maybe you want to change that picture with this picture all right which you probably wouldn't want to because it got sure to start all on it but I'm just trying to show you an example right save that maybe you're only in business for five years instead of 15 save that or maybe you're not in business for a long time at all so maybe you don't want to highlight that part and say how long you're in business delete this whole section all right and maybe delete that one too make it shorter all right click to sign up and that's another thing too you want as many call to action buttons as possible too because you want the customer to take action right we want them to either book an appointment or give you a call or email you or something but you want them to take the first steps to allow you to read to try to get that walkthrough schedule right so they can start cleaning services and you can provide them a quote and all of that all right just a couple other things here so as you can see it's pretty much drag and drop it I mean you can pretty much do whatever you want because you can literally drag these things right and you don't have to just press the up button and all of that it's drag and drop you can edit anything for the most part uh, so you can see how like easy it is to customize this one thing I will point out is you definitely want to update your social media links all right so if you click on it you want to click each individual one and you come down where are we you want to come to actions all right and then when they click on it you want to click go to website and then paste your Facebook link there so let's just say I go to my Facebook uh, page <coughs> my company page 
So let's go. We go to Clean Biz Network. Uh, there we go. Facebook.com slash Clean Biz Network. And I'm just going to copy that link. All right. From Facebook. And I'm going to come back. All right. So I copy that link from Facebook. And I'm going to come back there and paste that link right in that little website uh, thing there. And I'm going to make see this wouldn't be what this would be one of those instances where we actually do open it in a new tab. So I'm going to turn that on. And then I'm going to click save. So now, once it's done saving, if we open this back in our new preview tab, I'm going to click refresh here. And if you go all the way down to those social media links, if you hover over any of these, they're not going to have a little point button. But this one is because it actually has a link attached to it. All right. So if I click it, you see it took me straight to my Clean Business Network Facebook page. All right. So you want to do that for all of your social medias. And obviously, you definitely want to set up a business page for every single one of these social media platforms as best as you can. Because each one of those are backlinks that link back to your website. And that's another thing that helps you with SEO and ranking on Google and other search engines is if you have more links pointing to your website. So that's also a good reason to have a blog on your website. Because that leads to more links. That's also a reason, a good reason to have YouTube videos that link to your website. It's more links that link to your website, all right? So do that for every single one of those social media platforms, all right? Now I'm going to come back here. We already saved it. So now once you're done editing this particular page, you can click this back arrow here. And then next, you just want to go to each individual page and edit them uh, to your liking. And then once you're done, you can just preview the website. And you're all set. So that's pretty much it. Next, I want to show you how to connect a custom domain name to your website. So what is a domain name? A domain is simply www.yourbusinessname.com. So it's the .com address for your website. So let's get into that.